It's the end of the day here in Jacksonville, and we're sort of battling with Mo on this weekend. Got to keep Stumps at bay. I got to keep him behind me. I'll be here all night long cooking and making it happen, Captain. As night falls, the rivalry between our low and slow cookers, Big Mo and Stump, heats up. I got the pit fired up, and I got I just put my shoulder on here so you can take a look at it. It's going to cook about 270 for right now, and then I'll back it back down to 250 here in about three hours. So it's going to take uh, everything to get it done on time, but it's going to be an awesome piece of meat when it's done. We're, we're getting geared up to put the pork on. Uh, that's, that's our specialty. That's what we like to cook. So, uh, you know, I want to be at the top in the pork this weekend. We've gone through our rest period on our pork butts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put them on right now in the smoker. As we mentioned before, we felt it important that we do the slow and slow process on these to, to make sure they're good, juicy, and tender. Well, we've got three butts we're putting on the cooker right now, and uh, this will start the night for us. Everything's looking like money. I'm a one-man team, so I got a lot of stuff to do, and you know, I know I've got to hit my marks throughout the night. You know, start taking 20, 30-minute uh, uh, naps. Uh, I'm looking forward to that opportunity to get to uh, sit down and rest for a little bit, but it'll come. Believing that his big meats have been cooking on his pit for several hours, Michael learns his wood is burned out. Um, wood didn't cook down from the first time we put it in. Let's see where we at. Oh, yeah. So it's cool down a little bit. We need to cook a little bit more, but you know what? Right now, I want to put my marinade on it. Tom will start adding some wood in, try to crank it back up to about 250 degrees. Put my last piece in there, that'll be enough. Mm-hmm. We're going to get old Nelly here back hot. We trying to stay on schedule. Smoke's coming out that stack. Still got a little ways to go, though. It is what it is. My injection has a little bit of phosphates in it. It's going to help keep things even more juicier. It'll taste just like brisket, like it's supposed to do. But it just adds that little final pop to it. Judges normally get one or two bites, so you got to really wow them with flavor. The fun part is watching the, the brisket transform throughout the cooking process into a really good piece of meat. Then I'm going to put it back in the fridge for, for about a, an hour, and then it's going to go on a pit about 4 o'clock in the morning. With his smoker refueled and fired up, bam, that's what I'm talking about. Now it's Michael's turn. Bada, bada, bada. Firing himself up character style as he preps his chicken. At my restaurant, I don't do thighs. I do breasts, boneless breasts, but that's what they like. But contests, you know, it's a little different. They want thighs. Thighs are the number one thing they do when I'm um, competition barbecue. So put a little brown sugar with my spices. They said say they like it a little sweet. So what I do, I'm kind of rubbing the meat in the brown sugar. And then um, I do is pick my little skin up. Just make a just a, just make a blanket, you know. Bam, bam, bam. That looks nice. Put like a little bit of my, my dry rub on that, and there you go. Time to put brisket on. It's 4 a.m. I'm going against what I normally do. Normally, I actually grill it over fire first, but I'm not doing it down here. I'm not going to do something that people are, are not accustomed to down here. You know, when in Rome, you do what they do. So uh, I'm just throwing my brisket on the smoker and um, see what happens. <laughs> 